Hey, time for a little wisdom today. Let's get going. Basking in just 30 seconds of sunlight each morning may be the most effective way to prevent cancer, doctor says. Now that is a headline that will grab your attention, especially when you find out that the doctor, Mohammed Munib Khan, is an oncologist in Britain. So, how much evidence is there for this alluring advice? Well, I put that at near zero. We get some understanding of Dr. Khan's level of expertise when we read that he believes, quote, that less than half a minute's exposure to the sun's near-infrared light between sunrise and 9 a.m. may offer a higher level of protection to adults and children than eating 2,500 bananas or a kilogram of Brazil nuts per day. That's just nuts. I suppose what Dr. Khan is referring to here is that Brazil nuts are a good source of selenium and that there's some evidence that selenium deficiency is linked to cancer. As far as bananas go, I suppose he saw a study that suggested eating resistant starch may offer some protection against cancer and that green bananas have resistant starch. Ah, that's just bananas. He seems to be banging the drum with that tired old tune of there being superfoods to protect us against cancer. There are healthy diets and unhealthy diets, but the idea of superfoods is super folly. Now, let's look at that 30 seconds of early morning sunlight being protective. Where does this come from? Dr. Kahn references a paper by Dr. Russell Ryder of the University of Texas Health Science Center that he then proceeds to twist until it surrenders to the torture and allows him to spew out the attention-grabbing headline. Ryder's paper is interesting, but it is purely conjectural. It discusses the finding that melatonin, a hormone previously was believed to be produced only in the pineal gland during hours of darkness, can also be produced in the mitochondria, the energy-producing organelles in cells. And melatonin has antioxidant properties, meaning that it may play some role in reducing the number of free radicals formed in cells. These are the highly reactive side products of the reaction of oxygen with glucose in the mitochondria and have been implicated in cancer due to their ability to damage DNA and proteins. Dr. Ryder suggests that exposure to near-infrared radiation in the range of 0.7 to 1.1 microns has a protective effect by boosting melatonin production. What evidence is there for this? None, really. Ryder himself uses the term hypothesis abundantly. He believes that excessive exposure to blue light as emitted by fluorescent lamps, TV, and computer screens causes disease because its damaging effects are not countered by near-infrared light, which is protective. His theory is that there was less illness when we were up and out early in the morning when radiation from the sun is rich in the near-infrared wavelengths, when we read by candlelight or incandescent lamps, or sat around a campfire, since all of these emit near-infrared light that stimulates melatonin production. Interesting theory, but it is only a theory. And I have no idea where Dr. Kahn gets the bizarre notion of 30 seconds of early morning sunlight quote, cutting the risk of cancer from one in a chance of two to one in 10. Maybe he should devote more than 30 seconds to reading the scientific literature. Whether he does this by the light of a candle or by early morning sunshine, I don't think matters. Hopefully he will find what he reads illuminating and preventing from making outlandish claims in the future. And that's our scientific wisdom for today. And that is our cup of joe.